Hi, I'm Celestine Brunetti, a chef and nutritionist. Welcome to Cooperative Extension's Kitchen. Today, I will be showing you how to make the apple salad recipe from the Eating Smart, Being Active cookbook developed for the FNEP program. This recipe makes six one cup servings and takes about 15 minutes to make. We'll go through the ingredients. We have the apple here, which provides vitamin C and fiber, uh, which will help aid digestion and help keep you full, as well as provide great crunch for this salad. Next, we have lemon juice, which will prevent discoloration of the apple because it has a tendency to turn brown. The acidity in the lemon juice helps that. Then we have celery, which is an excellent source of vitamin K, which helps your blood to clot. Next, we have carrots, which are an excellent source of vitamin A, which is beneficial for your eyesight. Then we'll be using raisins, which is a great source of fiber, which also helps aid digestion. And lastly, the yogurt, which is a great source of protein, calcium, and probiotics. To prepare this dish today, I will be using a chef knife and a cutting board. If you do not have these items at home, you can also use a paring knife and a plate. Those will work just as well. So it's important to wash all of your produce prior to using it. I have done so. Uh, just to remove the bacteria and the dirt that can be on it. When you're holding a chef knife, it's important to approach it as if you were shaking someone's hand. Have a nice firm grip on it and use your thumb and your pointer finger wrapped around the front. Also with your left hand or whichever is the, your non-knife hand, uh, you want to keep a claw motion or a claw hand so that you do not cut your fingers. So we're going to go down the center of the apple, okay? Put both halves face down on the cutting board and again cut in half through the core of the apple and to get on the other side. Okay? I'm gonna put the apple face up and at an angle, cut through the core of the apple. Be careful not to cut your fingers right here. Fantastic. So we just want the core of the apple removed and I'm gonna continue doing this throughout the rest of them as well. <clears throat> so for this, this now flat spot will provide you a safe place to cut cutting strips of apples. You want them about a half inch, um, pushing the knife forward and then pushing, pushing down on the tip of the knife and then on the, the heel of the knife. So now that we have all of the apples cut, I can measure out a cup, but one apple equals about a cup. So I'll measure it out just so that you folks can see it. There we go. About a cup. So I'm gonna put the remainder in so we don't waste any food. So we're gonna use one tablespoon of lemon juice. Just pour it gently over the apples. I'm gonna mix them together just so that they're all coated in the lemon juice. So next we're gonna do the celery. With celery, it's important to cut the, about a quarter inch to a half inch off the bottom. And I'm gonna do it from here, quarter to half inch off the top. So to get, uh, Bite-sized pieces, again, around the same size as the apple. We're gonna cut it in half, lengthwise, up the middle, and then going from, the, from one end to the other, we're gonna make about half-inch cuts. So that was one stalk, equaling about a half a cup. Put this in there, great, and then we'll add this in. Fantastic. So next we're gonna do the carrot. With the carrot, you want a garbage bowl or maybe do it over the garbage someplace where you can put the, um, the outside skin into. So using a peeler, I'm just gonna peel the outside of the skin. Cut about a quarter to a half inch off the top and a quarter to a half inch off the bottom. So now we're gonna use a grater, a box grater or whatever type of grater you have at home. I'm gonna put the carrot, the, the larger side <clears throat> on the larger hold side and with force, press the carrot down. One carrot will equal about a half a cup of carrots shredded. Perfect. Great. So we're gonna add this to the bowl as well and I'm going to add the remainder of it just so we do not waste any food. So our second to last ingredient, we're gonna add the raisins to the bowl. And our final ingredient, it's gonna be vanilla yogurt. The recipe says one half cup to three quarters of a cup. This is six ounces, so that equals three quarters of a cup. So this will be perfect to the recipe. And mix it all together. You want everything to be well coated. Once everything is well coated, your salad is done. At this point, you can chill it in the refrigerator for about an hour just to make sure all the ingredients are nice and cold. Or you can make it the night before for a dessert or for a snack during the day. So I'm gonna take a, take a bite now. 
You get the crunchiness and the savoriness from the celery and the sweetness from everything else. I'm Celestina. Thank you for joining me in Cooperative Extension's kitchen today.